During this pandemic, there's been a lot of consumers, a lot of people panic buying. They've been buying TP, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, etc. And it's been really hard to find some of those items. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about something that's not so essential, but something that a lot of people might be looking for right now, a Nintendo Switch. Today I'm gonna to talk about the Nintendo Switch and scalping and what's been going on during this pandemic with the price and the supply and demand of the Nintendo Switch. So let's check it out. Took a quick trip to my local Walmart to check the stock of Nintendo Switches. They had zero. No light systems, no regular systems. I'm not really surprised though. I also took a quick look at the accessory case. No Pro Controllers, no Joy-Cons. Side note, I would love to have this kiosk down in my game room. It would be totally awesome. I will go back every week and check to see if they get anything in stock. Keep in mind the retail prices of $1.99 for the lights and $2.99 for the standard version. First off, let's look at some retail stores online, Walmart and GameStop. A simple search on Walmart.com of Nintendo Switch will give you a result less than desirable. These prices are outrageous. $600, $799, $643, this is totally unreal. But I do understand simple economics and supply and demand. The supply is down in the United States, but the demand is very high, so prices will skyrocket. But part of the issue is resellers, scalpers, trying to control the market to make money. The base console is going for $299 and the Nintendo Switch Lite's going for $199. Just wait it out. Now the lights, I looked at them out of curiosity and they're going for over $100 than what they normally do. Just wait. I also checked out GameStop.com and got a similar result. When I searched for the consoles, the prices were at the correct retail price. This is a good thing, but... They are listed as not available online or in stores. I double checked this for the Nintendo Switch Lite and I got the same result. Again, I am not surprised by this at all. People are stuck inside and want something to do. Video games are a great way to pass the time. And the Nintendo Switch has great games for kids. So why not track down a Switch for the family? Out of curiosity, I looked up the Animal Crossing Special Edition console and got the same results, not available. Now, when I can't find something in stores or online, what do I do? Well, I go to Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna check out the prices of the Switch there and also on eBay. So let's check it out. Facebook Marketplace is a special place to buy video games. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. This is the place where resellers and scalpers love to jack up prices of video games to make a buck. I've seen it with the SNES and NES Classic Editions. I'd recommend staying away from this place unless you want to pay four or $500 for a Nintendo Switch. Now I'm not gonna click on any of the listings to protect the resellers. It shows their profile and I'm not gonna do that. The average price that I was seeing was around $400. There were a few around five or 600, but for the most part around 400 to 450. I did see some decent Switch bundles with about four to five games and they were decent games. Switch games aren't cheap, so 
maybe that's a good deal. I don't know. Maybe if you want to start up your Switch collection, maybe, but you are gambling. I don't think Facebook Marketplace is a good idea right now to find a Nintendo Switch. Again, just wait it out. This is way too high. You might also be dealing with some shady resellers and having to meet up with them one-on-one. -on -one. That might not be the safest thing to do right now. And also, anytime you're gonna meet someone on Facebook like this, I recommend you take someone with you. This is my least favorite place to search for video games on eBay, but I I bought on eBay. The last place I'm going to look for a Nintendo Switch is eBay. This is the most disheartening place to look because of all the dirty resellers. And it is very clear that they're resellers. Just look at this listing. 24 Nintendo Switches. Now, let's do a little math. Let's say he spends $330 per Nintendo Switch. That's about $7,900 or so. Now, if you multiply 589 times 24, you get 14,000. That's over a $6,000 profit. Now, I will show the reseller here because you can search it in eBay just like I did. Please don't buy from these resellers. This is just going to give them more reasons to keep doing what they are doing. Most prices that I saw on eBay were between $400 and $550, somewhere in that range. Now there were some okay bundles with some games, but to me, it's not really worth it. In another video, I will share some tips and tricks to hunting down a Nintendo Switch at retail price. There is no reason why you should pay $500 or more for a Nintendo Switch. This is ridiculous. Wait, hear my tips, and guys, I, I know you might want a Nintendo Switch right now. Maybe your kids want a Nintendo Switch. Maybe you want a Nintendo Switch. Just be patient. This time will pass. Don't buy off eBay in particular. So what do you guys think about this? It's kind of crazy, but it makes sense. And yes, people are going to try to make money during this pandemic. And I'm going to do a follow up video to this on how you can track down a Nintendo Switch without having to pay five or six hundred dollars. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook at Retro Tony. Have a great rest of your day.